It isn't surprising that the West is Canada's main production region for both honey and canola. Wherever you find canola, you'll find honeybees. Both industries thrive in Western Canada, partly because bees and canola are such good companions. Canola, it, it's uh, you know a 30-day bloom period usually, and uh, it I would say it's uh, the bulk of of what Alberta beekeepers are are relying on for the main honey production. Likely between 60 or 70 percent of the honey extracted in the province would be from canola. It is the main crop for honey production. Canola is the main flowering crop in this area. Other than canola we have small bits of alfalfa and small bits of clover but predominantly most of our honey comes out of canola. The benefits of canola for beekeepers is obviously it it uh, yields a lot of honey, um, and it's good quality honey. The pollen is a pretty good pollen for the bees to, um, to consume. It's got a good amino acid complex to allow the bees to, uh, to reproduce and be fairly healthy. Nice field is like this, blooming during the day. It's, it's, can't ask for better for a bee, you know. Bees tend to do very well on canola. It has profuse blooms. It has uh, very nutritious pollen. It's high in protein as well as fat and it has all the amino acids bees need to complete their life cycle. And it also has a large amount of nectar so bees can actually produce quite a good honey crop off of canola. They also contribute to the yield of canola so I think it's a relationship that benefits both the growers and the beekeeper to have the bees on canola crops. The benefits for farmers are that uh, it's, you know, it helps with the yields for pollinating, well, which results in better yields and uh, it goes into potting a lot quicker after it's been pollinated really well, um, so which reduces flower time and it's, it's kind of a win-win situation. Well, I think it's important to help the beekeepers out. Uh, canola is uh, great, for, great for the bees and uh, it's also a benefit to, to the canola crop to have the bees around to, to pollinate it. So, so it kind of works uh, both ways. It helps both parties out, so. The most important thing we do is you, you spend lots of time scouting. Uh, you're in the field lots looking for insects, uh, looking for, for pests. And then we really are really, really conservative on, on spraying. We, we tend to not spray insecticides all that much. Like on the odd time, we do have to go in and say spray lagus when, when uh, canola is still flowering. You, we try to give the beekeeper quite a bit of notice, uh, at least 24 hours, preferably you know, two days anyway. You know, it's kind of a win-win situation for both of us out here. If we, I think we're both very respectful of what the other one does for a living. And uh, through working together and having a good communication process out there, um, it, it's been good for, for everybody involved for over 30 years here. In the past decade, the number of honeybees in Canada has reached near record levels, and more than 70% of the colonies are in Western Canada, where canola has become one of the most important crops. It's a sweet relationship. Canola is good for bees, and bees are good for canola. Together, they're good for the health of our ecosystem and our economy. For more information about bees and canola, visit the websites of the Canola Council of Canada and the Canadian Honey Council. Mm -hmm.